All right, guys, we're here at the Monster 100 finish line ride. We're going to do this ride with the boys. They're going to be up front. We're going to have a gap for their safety between all the other riders so they can keep them in a smaller group and keep anybody from getting in between them. And then we're going to come in behind them. We're going to go out and ride and finish out this last 100 miles with Chris Hopper, the king of the 100-day ride. He did 100,000 miles in 100 days last year for this same charity. And that allowed them to help Josh Turbo, check out Turbo Time, and his family a mobility van. And then this year, we had 200 riders do this ride to raise money to help get Drew a mobility van with his family and bring these boys out here for this party. So all five of them are here. You're seeing that in this video, and now you're going to see us on this ride. And we're going to ride out about 50 miles, and we're going to come back to the finish line to finish out Chris Hopper's last 1,000 miles of this 100-day ride. And we'll finish at Black Hills Harley Davidson. So there goes the boys rolling out over there. <laughs> you see the smile on their faces, man. This is going to be awesome. I know we have over 50 bikes because Riot had 50 challenge coins for the folks who were doing this, and he ran out of coins. So I know we had at least 50. Now, Riot and his wife Amy are on this bike taking pictures as we go out right now, right here to the left. That's his original Mount Monsters bike um, that he did back before he got the one he has now. And uh, this is going to be awesome, guys. And thank everybody who supported my ride. And I'm going to be doing more rides for Mount Monsters. i got to figure out exactly how that works. But if I do anything for charity, it's going to be for these boys. And I'm going to stop talking or I'll wind up crying. Uh, seeing them here today so far has been a special thing for me. We're just going 50 miles down the interstate on I-90 and we'll do 50 miles back. I'm riding with a legendary gopher beside of me with that pizza box on the back, man. So. This will be a nice, easy ride up the interstate, guys. All right, guys, we're halfway through our ride, doing the loop-to-loop -loop turnaround. So, if you're gonna turn on the camera for a second, you see all the bikes that are here supporting these boys and their families. Guys, we're rolling in, rolling in, rolling in to Rapid City. Headed to Black Hills, Harley Davidson for the finish line of the Monster 100. This is fairly epic in the words of Brian. I said earlier, I appreciate everybody that donated to my ride and I, I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. You are making an impact in these boys' lives that will affect them from now on. Like I said, you can still go and donate charity is continuing on even though today is the finish line of the monster 100 we're still going to be helping these boys and we're still going to have an ongoing need for money to do that you're going to get to see the result of your donation to mount monsters so if anybody that is watching this video donated to mount monsters watch this video and listen to these boys thank you for helping them uh, it's just tremendous amazing the amount of support that has come out of the Lotus opportunity these boys that have new shins match your mission thank you thank you thank you all right guys we're rolling in to black hills harley davidson for the finish line Woohoo! so the finish line is going to be at the wild ass motorcycle cushions tent for the rally and i'll use one of those motorcycle cushions on my bike and I use that same one in my motor coach. And it makes a big difference for long days.
Yeah. Bikers, you know, just you. <laughs> so now that's changed, and now he stutters a little bit on his answer. He's like, Well, you were my favorite, but no, that guy gave me a ride, Larry. <laughs> All right, man, thank you. You go grab a seat. Oh, look who's coming in the door. Eight days riding with us. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Gavin is uh, one of our original boys, and we just love this kid to death. He's an artist and a bike. Gavin, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue, it's not gray? Blue! And blue is his favorite color, and that's why everything with the GOATS tour was blue. Thank you, Gavin. We enjoy you. Even if you do sleep on a 50-mile ride. Coming in the door! The king of turtle time! The man himself, Turbo! Come on up here. He is a navy, he's a race car driver. Turbo, we met a couple years ago when he was looking for a van himself. It was the first van we were involved with when Hop was doing his epic ride of 100 days. So we randomly found Turbo online. I don't even know how to explain it. So it was pretty, pretty epic with how we found him. But it was just random. I'm never on Facebook on a computer at all. I was that day to across a kid who was trying to raise money for a van. And he was a little short, so we filled the gap. And he's got a cool van, so he knows what it's all about to get a van. And when I first met Turbo, he was a little bashful, a little bit shy, and not more the center of attention. And now we have somebody who is the host of Turbo. <laughs> I am Turbo, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for being here. Thank you to every single one of you for being on that bike and getting these boys the stuff they need. Thank you for that, you know. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you guys done, and let's keep on going. Turbo is such a professional, I turned off the microphone to hand it to him. And Turbo is also a, a racer. He likes to race motorcycles with his... Hey, you can... Where are you going, my man? You can stay. The party's for you. All right. 
I think he's got his food outside. He's going to help me. All right, here we got L.P. Everybody knows L.P. He is a rock star, a singer. I've known L.P. for a couple of years. He loves the microphone. He loves to sing. And he promised me tonight that we're going to rock this place out. Yeah. I've known L.P. for a couple of years. Last year, we were honored to go over to Northern Ireland and do a presentation at his community center and his school. So it was really cool. I thought that was one of the highlights of everything we've done. The only question I had for the schools in Ireland that put fences around their school, bolts on everything, locks on everything, we finally make our way all the way to the school. We tell them we're here for LP, and they just give them to us. No questions asked. Oh, door opens. Here's LP. And then LP, in typical Irish fashion, brought us to a bar and a tattoo shop. So we took LP out of school, and then I said, my man, do you know how to get to the tattoo shop? And he walked us right to the tattoo shop. I got my tattoo right there. That day, Gavin drew it, and we got a tattoo with LP. Hey. 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 He gets a little bashful until the microphone turns to 80s rock, and then he is like a true performer because he'll be shy, bashful, sitting up here, but when that station turns to some kiss, yeah, then he will rock it. Then he just turns into a totally different animal. And the juggernaut comes out and he's ready to smash it up and go. Right? But he is really good at kicking ass when it comes to fighting DMD. Right? Yes. Yeah, I've always been impressed with this fight. So he breaks records. He actually ran up in Philadelphia. He ran up the steps that Rocky did. He was here for treatments, and he was kicking ass, and he ran up those steps. So that was wow. epic, epic, epic. Boom. Hi. All right. All right. Now we're going to bring the man himself in the skull box. I'm going to turn this music down. There we go. It doesn't have to be off. We'll keep it down. Now Drew's coming in. We'll just keep it toned and bring it all good. Here is the main man himself, Drew, coming on in. This ride started for this guy right here. The guy who was shy and quiet. Yeah, now he's like, yeah, not anymore, man. Working his way. Another wheelchair racer. He was kicking it. Yeah, see, the, like the man was a little bashful a year ago at the Hokahane finish line where he came out to cheer us on. Is not the same bashful kid because now he sees a bunch of monsters out there who ride for him, cheer him on, get him a van. Anything you want to say there, buddy? Thank you, everybody. I appreciate everyone for coming here and raising all this money for this event. And. I just want to say thank you, and, you know, just enjoy the ride. That's awesome, man. Thank you, and it's been, it's been a pleasure to ride these 100 days, cheering you on to get a van, and it was fun to watch you pick it out, because anybody that doesn't know, Drew helped actually pick it out. Drew went to the to the shop. He rode, you know, rode his... Uh, chair in, made sure everything was best, had uh, picked out what gave him the best room, and he had it dialed in. He knew that I want this one. I've got this one set up. There's different uh, conversions, and he wanted a brown ability, gave him a little more room in it, and I learned a lot about vans and chairs and all this crap. I didn't really realize how much went into a conversion van until we started looking into them, and it's actually amazing. So. Now to see this kid up here on Chipper is amazing. I'll give you a little backstory on Drew. I met Drew a few years back. It would have been like 18, 19, I guess. 19, 2019. And I did a ride. I did a ride uh, around the country, though. What's known as a 48 and 10. I did a 48 and 8. 
I'm 48 and 8, and every day we have a daily dedication. Well, on the Tuesday, we had Drew's Day. So that was the first time I did any fundraising for Drew. And that was 2019. That was the first time I really got to know him. And we fundraised for him just for one day. But that one day has led us to this day. And it was, it was pretty fun and pretty exciting because Drew led me to Elfie and to Jack. And it's been just a, a fun ride, a roller coaster ride with a lot of highs, way more highs than lows. But that's how long I've known Drew. And we got together, and last year, um, Drew needed a van. That's the first time we decided that he kind of needed a van. So this ride came together and was well into the planning stages before we informed the Gunther family of our plan. So when I talked to Steve, I said, you know, we have an idea about a ride and we think we can raise enough money to get you a van. And he says, well, there's some nice vans out there. You know, we've looked at some used ones. And I thought, well, with any luck, we could do some epic shit and really get a nice brand new van. So... They're simple and very humble and wanted to just get a van. But they like to see the country. And Drew wanted to see the countryside. That's why one of our rides, we wanted to get pictures by the states. Drew loves to travel. Bree loves to sing and travel. No? She loves to travel and see the countryside. So we thought it was crazy to get a van with 70,000 miles on it used to save some money so this ride came about and it was just awesome but i want to give them a chance to say anything they want to say or to tell them what the van means and, and that kind of thing so people understand exactly i know all these answers i'm fortunate i get to spend time uh with the families so that's what makes today so kick ass is that everybody's here so everybody can see for themselves how, how cool the shit is that you people actually, you know, what it is that they actually do means to people. So that's just awesome. Bree, you want to go first? No, I'm sorry, we'll let you have that. I guess I'll do most of the talking if my wife does. You probably won't hear anything, she'll be crying all the time. Um, so, yeah, so it's exactly like Ryan said. I mean, we. Uh, you never know with this disease, but Drew kind of lost his ability to walk very quickly. Um, he was doing fine, and then all of a sudden he lost it. And so it kind of shook things up for us. All of a sudden we have to get chairs, and we have to get a ramp, and now we're like, well, the big expense is the van. Um, so I had absolutely no idea anything was in the works at all. And we were stressed about it. How are we going to make that work with everything else? And, and then you called me one day. Um, let me know, hey, by the way, we're going to be doing this ride, and we're trying to get a van. You didn't say we're trying. You said we're going to get a van for a drill. Um, so that was, from that point on, it took a lot of weight off of our shoulders. Um, you know, you do epic things. You're trying to make kids, uh, you know, live their best lives. And honestly, there's no better way than giving someone back their mobility, their ability to get out. And that's what we do as a family. So it's changed his life um, very quickly. Uh, a week and a half. A week and a half we've had this van. We've now put on like, what, 1,700 miles, 1,800 miles. Uh, so maybe it's good we have a new van. Um, and we're seeing the country. And we've already clicked off one or two new states for us. Uh, we're closing in on the bottom 48. Um, but just even in that time, how much Drew has come out of his shell, he's opening up, he has new confidence, feels better. He's asking us to go out places now he never wanted to go out. Um, so being stuck at home and going from that to so much more freedom. And that's because everyone here, all of the supporters, all of the supporters that supported you, each of your rides, you know, you do epic, amazing shit. I can't even keep up on a day-to-day -day basis, what is going on in Wild Monsters anymore, because it's insane. But, you know, I know that for our family, you have just made a massive difference. And I know it's not true that way for every single one of these boys. Because every boy is at a different stage, and we need different things different times. Sometimes it's something small, sometimes it's just some attention, sometimes it's little things that can help them, benefit them in their lives, make them feel better. Um, 
again. You know, you do that every single day. You help these boys. You help Drew. Um, so there's nothing we can say or do to show our gratitude enough. Um, but we'll just let it small. Changed Drew's life in such a big way, and and Steve said that. But I think you can tell. I think you all can tell the, the change you've seen in Drew just in these last this last week since we've been here and since he's gotten the band. So it's just all I can say from my mom heart is thank you to each and every one of you because it means everything to us, to me, and to our family. So thank you. Today is a good